Hey everybody, it's Wilbits, and we're playing Phoenix Wright Asinine Attorney. This is the DLC. Welcome to Ace Attorney Theater. Today it is a courtroom drama of the most peculiar kind. It is a what-if story that may have happened in another world, not unlike our own. How peculiar could it be, you might wonder, and to that, I wouldn't know the answer. I'm breaking the crap out of the fourth wall right now. But please, don't take this too seriously. Just simply relax and enjoy the madcap fun. And now, it's asinine attorney time. Alternate reality stuff, I guess. Okay. What's uh, What's going on? Date? No one knows. Time? No one knows. The Bazaar in the Kingdom of Kurain oxes are here. Okay. Huh. I wonder where Maya and Pearls are. They're supposed to already be here. Guess I'll hang around for a while until they show up. My name is Phoenix Wright. I'm an attorney and the head of my own law office back in America. But for now, I'm here in the Kingdom of Kurain to take care of a few things. Pearls has come for a short visit. So the plan today was for Maya, Albie, and I to show Pearls around town, but... Hey there, Mr. Wright! Oh, there's... Hi, Albie! Oh, and Pearls! It's always nice to see you, Mr. Nick. This is young lady, this young lady is Pearl Fay. She's training to be a spirit medium, but she's currently on vacation here in Kurain. You're looking well. How's your training coming along? It's going great, thank you. I've been working really hard each and every day. I was even featured in a newspaper article recently, see? Oh? Well, what do you know? Look at you, giving interviews already, Pearls. Thanks! With Mystic Maya here in Crane, they decided to talk with me instead. Oh, they even called me charming in the article. Oh, it's so embarrassing. She brought this all the way here just to show it to me? She must have been pretty pleased with how it turned out. Ah, this is added to our court record. Uh-oh. We're going to have to show that to somebody. By the way, have either of you seen Maya? I have, and she says you're late. She got tired of waiting. So she sent me to look for you. Huh? I guess I must have gotten the time and place wrong. Sorry, you guys. So, where is she now? She's at the Hall of Justice, observing a trial. She said something about how interesting things are going to happen during it. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. Huh. Well, there's only one way to find out, I guess. To the Hall of Justice! Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice, Superman assembles a team of crime fighters. I've only been here as the lawyer for a trial. But not today. Here's to hoping it'll be a bit more low-key this time. Now then, I wonder where Maya is. Right, I'll go look for her. I'm really looking forward to seeing a Kurainese trial, Mr. Nick. I think they use a form of spirit channeling during them, called, um... The Divination Seance. It lets us experience the deceased's final moments. That's right. They talk about it in this scroll. It also says that in Kurain, only those who can channel spirits can become the queen. Do you think this means I could become one, too? <laughs> <laughs> well, Princess Rafa can't channel spirits yet. So I'd say you have a head start, Pearls. Oh, actually, I have an extra copy of that scroll. Do you want it, Mr. Nick? Sure, why not? Thanks, Pearls. Hmm, okay. Wait, the title of this scroll is Pretty Princess Rafa Special Scoop. Huh. 
what the heck is this? Check out our exclusive scoop on the girl on everyone's mind, the alluring Princess Rafa. Our interview with a royal servant reveals her true height to be four foot ten. Her weight, still a mystery, but maybe getting him bigger. Her benevolence is known to go on regular walks around town too, so stay sharp, and you just might get to meet her. It's even got her personal information in here, like her height and hobbies. Is this a teen idol fanzine scroll or something? Apparently, some travel agency printed these up to promote tourism in this country. It seems she's popular among the young men here. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I can't say I approve of any of this. Nick! Maya? What's with that face? You look like a cow that's accidentally eaten a burger. Uh, and what kind of face is that exactly? A mad cow face? This is Maya Faye. She used to be my legal assistant. She's a spirit medium from Korain Village and is currently training here in Korain. This is no time for introductions, Nick! We have to hurry into the courtroom! Now! It's about to start! What's about to start? Oh, you'll see. Now come on, get the, uh, lead, get the light out and let's go! Hey, wait! What's going on? Ah, uh, Mr. Wright? Yes, LB? Are we gonna end up accidentally the lawyer in this case as well? Why is Edgeworth here? Um, what are you doing there at the defense's bench today, Miss Wright? I don't know. I was wondering that myself, actually. I'm not sure what happened. Mind filling us both in, Maya? Well, I just thought you can't really have a trial without a lawyer, you know? Trial? What, what trial? Is it a trial? Is it a trial? In this game? I don't, I don't think so. Plus... Hmm. And what are you doing here, Edgeworth? This stuffy looking guy is Miles Edgeworth. He's the local chief prosecutor back home, and an old childhood friend of mine. But all I want to know right now is, what is he doing here in Kurain? I was not informed that you'd be defending today. Me? Defending? There must be some mistake. I'm just here for sightseeing. Kachak! Bailiff? Isn't that the bailiff? Did something happen? <laughs> the security here is a joke. All I had to do is disguise myself as the bailiff and waltz right in. Huh? Nobody move if you know what's good for you. I'm here with a gun! I'm giving the orders now. Got it? <laughs> Yikes! If things are going kind of slow, have somebody walk in with a gun! What do you think you're doing? Ah! He's not kidding around! I said nobody move! I'm here to protest the perverted state of our kingdom's judicial system. But you people will probably call me a terrorist or something. Well... A t t terrorist Oh my! Are you one of those rebels? What's going on here? Get, get ready, Nick. Here we go. Uh, I don't think I'm ready for this. So tell me, terrorist, what are your demands? It's simple. I want the royal priestess, Rafa Padma, Karain, handed over to me immediately. What? P Princess Rafa? What do you want with her? Her divination seances. They're so delicious. I can't get enough divination seances. They're the root cause of our judicial system's perversion. So I'm sure you understand what needs to be done to save our kingdom. 
Oh, this is going south fast. Now bring me the royal priestess, or else. Objection. Hmm. As if we would kowtow to the likes of you. But Buster Edgeworth, if we do not comply, we endanger the lives of everyone here in this courtroom. Even so, we cannot simply hand over the princess without a fight. She is the future queen of this kingdom. That cannot be allowed to stand. I, for one, am ready to battle for this terrorist, whatever the cost. Hmm. You make a good case, but... I hope you have some sort of plan for defeating him, Edgeworth. Because I don't. I'm not even sure what's going on. So what are we going to do? He will hand over the royal priestess now. Hold it. Pearls? And you are? I... I am Princess Rafa. Now take me away if you must, Mr. Terrorist. Pearls, I don't know if you've thought this uh, plan through very much. Uh, huh? What's going on here? Nick! What's Pearly doing? Looks like she's trying to save Princess Rafa by taking her place? Pearls, what do you think you're doing? Mr. Nick! Uh, I get it now. We can't turn Princess Rafa over to this terrorist. But we also can't let anyone here come to harm. And that's why Pearls is pretending to be the princess. Could this be her bid to buy us some time? I'm sorry, but you are Princess Rafa? I was about to say I hardly recognize you, but um, I do not recognize you in the least. Who on earth are you? As I said, I'm Princess Rafa. Take me away, Mr. Terrorist. Then you'll let everyone go, right? Yes, but... Your Majesty, what is going on here? Well, um, I haven't the foggiest. Uh, maybe I can spell it out with some hand signals. Do you guys know, like, semaphore? Come on, Edgeworth, work with me here. Point point up down I am faking it we will do something later we need to buy ourselves some time mr. Wright. now is really not the time for your shenanigans uh, how can one person be so dense the, the young lady there she speaks the truth it is true that she's the princess. So this little lady really is Princess Rafa. I don't know. She looks different from that picture I saw. Then again, she looks about the right age and height. Hmm. Hmm. I've been reading pamphlets. Now hold on just a minute. Uh, Albie? What are you doing up there? It's me! This girl's not the real princess, I tell you! I am! I am Princess Rafa! It is me! We are all Princess Rafa! Every one of us! And just what is your business here? I, I, I'm Miss Pearl's tour guide. As such, I can't allow anything bad to happen to her. She's a valued customer. So I beg of you, Your Majesty, allow me to explain! Explain? Oh, you mean you wish to testify? Hmm, what do you think, Prosecutor Edgeworth? It has been one unexpected turn after another today, and I'm at a loss for what to do. I'm afraid we have no choice. We must resolve the issue at hand, immediately. We must determine whether or not this young lady really is Princess Rafa. What? But when the truth comes out, the terrorists will demand we turn over the real princess. I'm warning you now, Mr. Wright. I have no intention of playing along with your silly games. This ridiculous farce ends now. I guess one man really can be that dense. Hmm, very well. Let us, um, 
Let us have the tour guide and the self-proclaimed princess test by. We're getting a double testimony. It's getting kind of crowded in the witness bench there. Is she really the princess? I am her benevolence, Princess Rafa. I object to the real princess would never refer to herself as her benevolence. But doesn't my hairstyle look kind of like the princess's? I object to the real princess wouldn't say something like that. And the real princess is taller too. Hmm. But that's something we can present evidence on. I must say, this is the most confused and absurd testimony I have ever heard. Pearls isn't fooling anyone. I'm afraid this is going to end before it begins. It's already begun, Phoenix. The defense may now cross-examine the witnesses. Okay. Let's push and press some things. I am Her Benevolence, Princess Rafa. Uh, Pearls, <laughs> I mean your benevolence. Are you sure you're Princess Rafa? Yes, there can be no mistake. I'm talking about myself, after all. I would remind the witness that I know you personally. And this is the first time I've ever heard that you are Rafa, Princess of Kurain. That's because I've just kept it a secret until now. A secret, you say? Edgeworth, please, for once in your life, go with me on this! Suffice to say, I'm Rafa. Can't we just leave it at that? So go ahead, Mr. Terrorist. Hurry up and abduct me already! I object the real princess would never refer to herself as her benevolence. Hold it. I think I know what this is about. You won't allow one of your customers to fall into the clutches of a bad guy, right, Albie? That's right. It's a tour guide's solemn duty to protect his customers. I'd never let them fall into a terrorist's hands. Even if that's what your customer wants? When you agree to become someone's guide, they may sometimes want to go somewhere or do something dangerous. But you must not listen, even if the customer demands it. After all, a good tour guide's motto is safety first. And right now, I'm thinking of Miss Pearl's safety above everything else. I'll be. Mm, I'm happy that you do that for me, but I'm going to keep you safe, Miss Pearl. I keep my customers safe no matter what, be it fire, flood, or whatever. Oh, Albie, you're my hero. Okay, this is an adorable romance that is budding right now, but... This is starting to sound like a mushy preteen drama. Alright, I understand, Albie. But I'm gonna keep pushing for her statements. I don't care how good of a lawyer you are, sir. I won't let those dangerous statements stand. But doesn't my hairstyle look kind of like the princesses? Hold it! Well, I don't think anyone here can say that there isn't somewhat of a resemblance. Maybe the guard has that disease where you can't see faces and this will be fine. I know, right? I've seen Princess Rafa on TV. And her hairstyle's just like mine. <laughs> You saw her on TV? You mean you saw yourself? Oh! That's what I meant! Yeah, I saw me on TV! And that's how I know what my hair looks like. Come on, bro. Even just watching from the sidelines is making me nervous! Yeah, Pearls really is a terrible, terrible lawyer. By even the slight resemblance in hairstyles. You should be able to tell that I'm the real Rafa! Yep, that's convincing. Object, the real princess wouldn't say something like that. Hold it! Could you please explain what you mean, Albie? Like it doesn't make any sense. If she were the real princess, she wouldn't compare her hairstyle to herself. What I meant was, um, I'm trying to hide my identity by not having the exact same hairstyle. 
before I do my old priest's duties, I make sure to style it the right way. Hold it! How about we just leave it at that, okay? The cat's already halfway out of the bag. If I let her keep talking, it's all over. Let's have the witnesses continue their testimony. I'm enthralled. It's the best testimony we've had so far. And the real princess is taller, too. That's probably what we present evidence to, because we don't have a lot of it. Princess Rafa is taller, you say? Tell me, Albie, have you ever actually met the royal priestess? I have, but I was shocked when I saw her on TV the other day. Her benevolence was on the plumed punisher, warrior of Neo Twilight Realm. Oh, that, that princess is bigger in several ways, Albie. The plumed punisher. And what, pray tell, is that? Oh, Edge, you don't know. It's it's kind of a knockoff. Allow me to explain. The Plume Punisher, warrior of Neo Twilight Column, is a hit action hero show. She's a champion of justice who battles her nemesis, Dirk, in Neo Twilight Realm. She has three special attacks called Plume Punisher Kick and Plume Punisher Punch. Objection. There's only two. There's only two special attacks. That setting and that story sound so familiar. And that theme song. Ah! The Steel Samurai. Your show is a complete rip. Now, now, Edgeworth. Um. I'm sure you have plenty to say on the matter, but we're still in the middle of a trial. Ugh. Now then, Albie. You were saying that Princess Rafa was on that TV show. Yes! She played herself in that special episode. She was being relentlessly pursued by the evil minions of the dreadful rebel Dirk. Feeling the terrible onslaught, she cried out for help. Oh, I saw that episode. And the Princess Rafa in the show, did she seem different from what you remember? She did. It had been some time since I'd seen her. So I was surprised by how her formerly undeveloped figure had, um... Uh-huh, mm-hmm, uh-huh, oh, Albie, Albie, Albie. How can I put this? Blossomed? He's talking about her, um, assets. B blossomed Albie. You should not be interested in that yet. As in, matured, so to speak. Yes, that! She'd become quite the looker. And was about five foot seven tall. That was definitely not the real Princess Rafa. Abby, could you please add that statement to your testimony? So we can talk about it some more? The real princess is taller and more slender. In fact, I'd say she's about five foot seven inches tall. Hold it! Five feet seven inches. That's quite a change. My uncle said it was probably a growth spurt. He even said that sometimes it seems like teenagers get taller overnight. So I guess that's what happened with the princess. Um, that's not exactly how it works, you know? I sure hope I have a growth spurt soon. I'd like to get bigger in several ways. I bet you want yours to come soon too, huh, Miss Pearl? <laughs> I... I think I've already missed the boat. You're gonna be that size forever, Pearl. Pearl, you're a midget. You're a midget, Pearl. A, a pretty one, but it's okay. It's okay. You're a small person. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Poor Pearly. She's really self-conscious about her height. My uh, about the Princess Albie you saw on TV. Um, she's just an actress, but most kids can't tell the difference, I guess. After all, her hair and outfit look just like Princess Rafa's. And that makes her entirely different height, okay? Height. We're talking about height. And nothing else. Alright, well... All we've got is the scroll that talks about how Princess Rafa is only 4 foot 10. I'm sorry, Albie. But you made a statement that contradicts the evidence. For whatever reason, this scroll contains the latest info on Princess Rafa. And as you can see, it clearly states that she is 4 foot 10 inches tall. Huh? But what about the Princess Rafa I saw on TV? She was probably just an actress, Albie. In any case, 
the height listed in this scroll and the height of the young lady here are about the same. Isn't that right, Pearls? I mean, Princess Rafa? Yes, that's right. I'm exactly four foot ten inches tall. You see? Therefore, based on the matching heights, she must be Princess Rafa. If you're the same height, you're the same person. Objection! Mm. Do you really expect this court to believe that, Mr. Wright? What do you mean? <laughs> and Pearls, you should know better than to exaggerate like that. Huh? What are you getting at, Mr. Edgeworth? Tell me, Pearls. Are you really four foot ten? Oh, uh, yes! Yes, I am! After all, I'm already eighteen years old! Albie, how tall are you? I'm four foot eight! I grew a whole inch and a half recently! Uh oh. Hey, could it be any clearer? Albie is four foot eight, which means. One look at the two of them should make it painfully clear. That Pearls couldn't possibly be four foot ten inches. Unless you include the top of her hair! Maybe? No! <laughs> oh, you've been exaggerating your height, young lady! This is so embarrassing. I was shocked to learn that I was shorter than a 14-year-old. So yes, I exaggerated my height. You mustn't lie in the Hall of Justice. If this were a real trial, you could be charged with the crime of perjury. But fortunately, it's go a weird old trial. Well, I don't really care and the rules don't matter. Oh. Can a girl dream a little? Three inches is more than a little. Still, if it's just a matter of a few inches, then maybe... You made quite the blunder, Mr. Wright. Though it seems you're still oblivious to this little fact. Allow me to enlighten you. The evidence you presented contradicts with your own claim. It does? Yes, look closely at this scroll. It includes a photo of Princess Rafa, but the young lady on the witness stand looks nothing like her. Ah! I, I should have known he'd point that out. Hmm. You're right. The girl on the stand doesn't have tattoos on her face. Need I say any more? The claim that the young lady on the stand is Princess Rafa doesn't hold water. It is a poor bucket. What are you doing, Edgeworth? Can't you see we're trying our hardest to buy some time here? Why do you have to be so contrary at a time like this? Well, Mr. Wright, would you care to respond? Uh, now what? I think you know what you have to do. Bluff like you've never bluffed before! We've got to keep this trial going any way we can! Easier said than done. Um? Hmm. 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 The defense is sticking to its claim that the girl on the stand is Princess Rafa. Very well, Mr. Wright. Then please tell this court on what you're basing this claim. Oh, um... The girl in this photo isn't actually the princess. Hmm. Very well, then. Who is the girl in the picture? That's her body double, maybe, who has the nicer clothes and stuff. I think that's the one that makes most sense for a princess to have a body double. The girl in the picture has been posing as the princess for public appearances, but she is merely her body double. Come again. I think you had better explain yourself, Mr. Wright. What? Haven't you ever heard of a body double? They stand in for important figures during public appearances. Using one as a way to protect the real person from assassination attempts and the such. 
Yes, I know the function of a body devil. Look, what I'm saying is, the girl in the stand is the actual, real Princess Rafa. What? Are you mad? That is just not possible. You may not believe it, but it's the honest truth. Her body double has been appearing in her stead while she lived in safety in America. And that is why the truth was never revealed until just now. Wow, really? Is this true, Pearly? Yes, of course it is. I just kept it a secret all this time. You've really crossed the line this time, Mr. Wright. If you don't believe it, prove me wrong. With evidence, of course. Ugh, who would have thought to prepare evidence against such an idiotic claim? Ugh. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but if you want to admit you're wrong, then you leave me no choice. Huh? The girl in the photo has the facial tattoos that identify her as a princess. All the royals have tattoos like that. But look at Miss Pearl. She doesn't have a single tattoo on her face. Um? Th that's because it would give away the fact that she's the real deal. And you've got no way to prove she's royalty, do you? And if you've got nothing that, that, that can prove that, then you can't prove that she's the royal priestess either. <laughs> no! Uh, Abby's just crushed my entire argument. Going beyond the call of duty to protect a customer. He's a real professional, all right. That was a fine counter argument, Albie. Now, if you would please add it to your testimony. I am a benevolent Princess Rafa. No, she never called her that. I object your principal to say something like that. There's no way this imposter can prove her royal lineage. Hold it! Hmm. Press. Royal lineage, huh? That's right. The royal bloodline goes all the way back to the great holy mother. All of our holy descendants are royalty. That's why only members of the royal family are able to channel spirits. Does this mean that the spirit mediums of Karain Village are of the same bloodline? Hmm. I wonder. I guess it's possible. It'd be neat if Pearly and I were descendants of the holy mother, too. Now to return to chipping away at Albie's testimony any way I can. Well, he's right that she doesn't have any facial tattoos. But she can keep insisting she's the princess through other means. It's a huge stretch, though. True, but at least it'll keep the proceedings going. Okay. Oh, shoot. So clearly I'm going to present evidence to this new statement. But what else do I have? Just the newspaper article about spirit channeling. It features an interview. Born and raised in Korean Village. A channel profile may be charming and petite, but she's also a full fit spirit medium capable of spirit channeling. The regular school work and intense spiritual training keep her busy. Miss Faye graciously sat down for a full interview. That's not super helpful. The Royal Kingdom belongs to those who inherit the power of channel spirits. Should them know the Royal Bloodline, though Princess Rafe is not capable of channeling spirits, the people hope that her training will soon bear fruit. Ah, ah, it's the scroll again. Objection! I think. The witness is statement? Oh no, it's not that. Hmm, and just how exactly did the statement contradict the evidence? If you give me about five minutes, I might be able to figure something out. We're not going to save scum a DLC case. <laughs> In other words, you have no idea what you are talking about. But it's just a matter of time until I do. In the meantime, let's go with something you do understand. You can't blame a guy for trying. Yeah, clearly it is that again. Oh no, I flipped it around again. Alright, I thought it would be important to point out that Rafa can't channel spirits, but clearly I need to point out Objection. that Pearl can. You said I got no way to prove she's royalty, right? Well, actually, that's not true, because I've got a piece of conclusive evidence. 
right here. You do? What did you just say? It's written right here in the scroll. It basically says that the ability to channel spirits is proof of royalty in this kingdom. Ah. Uh, but the girl in the picture is incapable of channeling spirits. I believe you are aware of this. Are you not, Your Majesty? Why, yes! The royal princess is only capable of performing the definition seance as of yet. Are we going to get post a channel right now to prove it? Because she's only a body double after all. But the real Princess Rafa, or the girl known as Pearl Fay, is very much capable of channeling spirits. Jeez. Yes, and there's no greater proof than that she has a royal blood in her veins. Is this true, Mr. Wright? Of course, Your Majesty. Pearls, can you prove your royalty by channeling someone's spirit? Who are we going to channel? Channel somebody dead. Yes, but who should I channel? Hmm, how about my father? He was the presiding judge before me. I have a portrait of him hanging in my office. I'll have the bailiff fetch it at once. The bailiff who is threatening all of us with a gun? Oh, or I guess it's a different bailiff. Okay, here goes. <laughs> it's Papa Judge time. I'm so excited. Is he going to be wearing Pearl's dress? Oh, my son. Long has it been since I've laid eyes on you. I trust that you have been well. Father! Ha ha ha. You look just like I did when I was your age. Still playing the role of the impact husband, I presume. Father. Father! No, my father! We don't get to see it, I guess, because we didn't want to make another sprite for the character. Oh, we could have just used the same sprite. That was indeed my father! This young lady's spiritual power is genuine! Wow, a real spirit channeling, and right before my eyes! I've never seen one before. Oh, holy mother, what a blessed day. The budgeting that must have gone into that transformation sequence must have broken the entire game. B but then... Uh, this is preposterous. It seems I've proven my claim. The girl on the stand is none other than the royal priestess of Kurain. Princess Rafa Padma Kurain. No... <laughs> Oh, your benevolence! May your great spiritual power guide and protect us! Urdihara Kurain! Urdihara Kurain! Yeah, the people in the gallery, they swallowed it hook, line, and sinker! Barnum! Barnum! But yeah, only problem is, now what? Because I can already tell nothing good is gonna come of what we've done. It seems I must render a verdict. It is the opinion of this court that the young lady before us is the real Princess Rafa. Alright. I guess I'll kill her. <laughs> I guess the trial proved it without a doubt. This princess is the real deal, and that means she's coming with me. <laughs> ah! No, wait! Pearls! Uh, what am I going to do now? I've already bought all the time I could. Hi! Hi, Re Rafa! Hi! I uh, was just... Good people of Kurain, my apologies for the delay. I fear I nodded off and only awoke a few moments ago. Ah! Uh, you... Uh, your benevolence. <laughs> Why, if it isn't the princess's body double? The greedy crappy one who's not royalty. Body? Double? What are you talking about? I am here to continue with the training session. Now you, the one playing the terrorist, come try to abduct me. Huh? Huh? What? You mean he's not a real terrorist? 
I'm glad that's finally over with. Now that the real princess is here, we can bring this farce of a trial to an end. The amount of ad-libbing required for this absurd scenario bordered on excessive. But now we can move on to the training session as planned. Um, training session? You know, I didn't want to believe it, but uh, don't tell me you thought this was all real, Nick. Wh what are you talking about? Sorry, buddy, but I'm just an actor. This trial was part of an emergency response training session. The need for such preparedness has risen recently with the rise of the insurgents. Yes, and they invited me to participate as a special guest. Huh? What? No way! So you're saying this was all an act? Well, it would seem that right. And the two youngsters, understand, were the only ones who didn't know. <laughs> I see you are as lame-brained as ever, barbed head. Hmm. Though this was but a training session, we did learn one shocking truth today. Yeah, who knew that the royal priestess had a body double? I excuse me? Your benevolence. Uh, I mean, your royal body double. Thank you for your long years of service. You need not pose to the royal priestess any longer. What? The truth has come out here in this sacred doll, you see. So we all know that you are the body double. So that young lady on the stand, the real Princess Rafa. Uh, oops. Uh-oh. It looks like my bluff worked better than I thought. Your benevolence. Lead us forward with the great spiritual power you possess! Who told it real princess? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Will Bob Head answer me? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, how should I put this? Um What are we gonna do now, Nick? It's like we've set something in motion that can't be stopped. Excuse me, everyone. What I said earlier was all just a joke, so... Your benevolence, our kingdom will finally know true peace once you are queen. You are the best royal priestess ever! Looks like they believed everyone you said, Nick. And they're not about to change their minds. Oh, boy. Uh, you should have told me this earlier. I buffed, buffed too well. The people that feared the royal pieces would never be able to channel spirits. But it seems those fears have finally been alleviated. Who is this? This phony baloney! I am the real Princess Rafa! The oh, royal pieces, please guide us forth. Princess Rafa, oh Princess Rafa, the greatest royal priestess ever. Princess Rafa, Princess Rafa, we all love the real Princess Rafa. Hmm, now that the matter is settled, all that is left to say is, this court is adjourned. No, this cannot end like this. Wait, wait. Did I not get a chance to state my case? <laughs> we won! And that's how one tiny bluff in the Hall of Justice that day turned an entire kingdom upside down and forever changed the course of Koranese history. Sorry, royal family of Korain. Yep, Pearls was crowned the new queen. And with her came a revolution to Korain. From that day forth, the kind, virtuous girl we knew as Pearls ruled her kingdom as the real Rafa in peace for untold years to come. And they all lived happily ever after. Not if I have anything to say about it, I'll lead my own revolution. This is all your fault, Bob's head. You will pay dearly for this. My mother's crazy. I'll have her go after you with her guards. And... That was the end of, of S9 Attorney Part 1. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And then watch the other one, which will be coming up in just a bit. Bye for now.